Chapter 18, Episode 7. Eventually the subjects learned that if they didn't want to be tortured and killed, they bowed to the ground and said, Thy will be done, Lord have mercy. If they wanted to ask him for anything specific, they did not ask him. There were safer options. A shrine could be set up in their home and they could bow to that and ask for whatever they desired. Holy men were assigned to tell groups of subjects how best to please thy will be done. From this habit a thy will be done cult was born. Thy will liked it. The holy men were given small armies to kill pretty much at random anyone not appearing to adhere to the plethora of random rules thy will love to proclaim. And ten thousand years later, the world was covered in temples to a tyrant long dead. Nope. What nope? Not done yet. Uh, your story? The story isn't done. It is a plague. Often we think of a plague as a microscopic creature, virus. A virus can also be a mind virus, a paradigm, a way to perceive that is believed to be the truth. Even in the stories of the Bible, some of the plagues were the butchering by soldiers of their own people. It was a common problem in empires. A megalomaniac takes all there is to take and gets paranoid about keeping all the riches he has plundered. Anyone can be an enemy. That's the story you're working on? Yep, what do you think? You are the coolest. Has a hint of historical fiction. Thank you, brain boy. Sally hadn't called him that for a long time either. If anything is bothering you, you usually tell me. Nothing's bothering me. I'm having a great time on the road with my best friend. Billy wasn't sure. I would have killed myself without you, and I wouldn't have had any fun. It was me that killed you the first time. Nothing serious. Didn't leave a scratch. Billy decided to contact the team about another job. Too much holiday seemed to be making Sally a little odd. Maybe Billy was overanalyzing. Maybe it was just a normal oddity. Those came and went.